what is up guys welcome back to the channel guys came across this video uh as y'all know i've been kind of mispronouncing uh some different words different city places in australia wrong and stuff like that and you know i'm just sometimes the video is what the the person that is talking on the video saying or how sometimes i see just and pronounce what i see you know but i know australia has there are different accents, slang, and pronunciation. So I found this video with the three Australian accents, general, cultivated, and broad Australian pronunciation. So we finna check this out from my guy, Aussie English. So y'all make sure. I, I think I've done one of his videos before, pretty good videos. So finna check this out so I can so you can help your boy out. And I appreciate y'all too for helping me out in the comments, especially... <laughs> For G Long, I was saying G Long, and somebody was like, say it like Jello, like how you say Jello, Jelong, Jelong. So, uh, yeah, then I think Canberra, I was saying Canberra instead of Canberra, Canberra. So, I'm learning, I'm trying to, you know, I'm looking, I'm learning, I'm learning how to, you know, pronounce these things. But let's jump into this one. G'day, guys, my name is Pete, and I'm the host of Aussie English. Welcome to this video. Today, I want to show you the three types no of Australian <laughs> accent. Let's go. So if you're learning Australian English, guys, and you're wanting to perfect that Australian accent, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the icon next to it, the bell icon, so that you can stay up to date with all of my new videos. So quick disclaimer guys, I am not a linguist. I am simply an English teacher, specifically teaching Australian English. And a lot of my students have asked me to put this video together to show you guys the main kinds of Australian accent. As you may or may not be aware, there is quite a bit of variation in the Australian accent. It's true. Now we're not gonna cover every single variant in today's video. I just wanna cover the three main kinds. And they are the cultivated accent. Hello, I'm cultivated Pete and I speak Australian English with a cultivated accent. The general accent. G'day guys, I'm General Pete and G'day. I speak with a general Australian accent. How's it going? Okay, and I hear the, the broad different. accent. Yeah, g'day guys, I'm Broad Pete and I speak <laughs> Australian English with a broad Australian accent. I hear the difference. I definitely hear the difference. The daddy on the All right, so according to Wikipedia, the cultivated Australian accent has in the past been perceived as indicating high social class or education. It has some similarities to received pronunciation and the transatlantic accent. So some famous Australians who speak with a cultivated accent include actors Kate Blanchett and Geoffrey Rush, as well as ex-Prime Minister Malcolm Fraser. Let's have a listen. Yes, well, no, I actually grew up in Melbourne. Yeah. And then I, I came to Sydney to go to the National Institute here. And, okay. And then got catapulted out, and I thought, well, I'll give it five years and see what happens. Johnny Depp's one of the great character actors of our time, I believe. Trapped in a leading man's body. I can kind of hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, the same. He has a brilliantly absurd sense of humour. Most people aren't aware of it, but 1975 was, I think, the only year since the migration program began when more people left Australia. <laughs> yeah, you blokes are just a bunch of posh <laughs> Well, I never. How unsophisticated. Yeah, I'm going to say. Okay, that do kind of sound a little proper, a little proper tone. Out of this one. A little proper. I guess I was proper, profes more professional type of... All right, now the strongest Australian accent. According to Wikipedia, broad Australian English is recognisable and familiar to English speakers around the world. It is prevalent nationwide, but is especially common in rural areas. In Australia, okay, this dialect is sometimes called Australian or Australian, a shortening of the word Australian. And a speaker of the dialect may be referred to as an ocker. Awkward. Some examples of Australians who speak with a broad Australian accent include ex-Prime Minister Julia Gillard, the crocodile hunter okay. Steve Irwin, and actor Paul Hogan. 
Let's have a listen. And I do meet women around the world and really the only thing they know about Australia is they might know something about kangaroos, something about koalas and about that speech. <laughs> do you miss the outback? Oh, absolutely. First thing, get off the plane, mate. Didn't go home. Boom, straight into the bush. Free me swag out, camped okay. under the stars, and I was healed up. <laughs> Thanks, great. Wonderful and weird at the same time. I had the rare and exotic thing of being the flavour of the month or flavour of the year almost for about a year. Yeah. And then it all. Okay, here's kind of, here's kind of sound like a little bit of both. The cultivator and the broad. A little bit, a little bit. If you haven't sort of come out with another blockbuster, it's all over. You're forgotten. Okay. Well, I, I do believe us posh cunts. Okay, I did start hearing more of the bra. I guess it's certain. I guess it might be certain words, certain words, but it's kind of it's a little bit cultivated too, maybe. Would refer to you broadies as ochre or bogan, depending on your social proclivities or whether or not you have a job. <laughs> yeah, right. I f off, mate. Yeah, I'm going to avoid this one as well. Last but not least, and the most common Australian accent that you are likely to hear is the general accent, okay? So according to Wikipedia, the general Australian English accent is the most common of Australian accents. It is especially prominent in urban Australia and is used as a standard language for Australian films, television programs, and advertising. So aside from the average Australian, some famous Aussies who speak with a general accent include actors Eric Banner and Hugh okay. Jackman, as well as Olympic swimmer Ian Thorpe. Let's have a listen. Oh, it was so much fun, and I'd sort of forgotten how much fun you can have and are allowed to have yeah. at work, you know, because a lot of the movies I work on are, you know, quite dramatic, and sometimes the sets are very, very serious. So to go to work where, oh, you know, laughing your head off all day long was kind of encouraged and you didn't get into trouble was, uh, was so novel. Two musicals early on, which shocked me that I was even up for a musical. And I, you know, I was an actor, theatre actor, really. You and hear it, Steve. then I couldn't get seen for films back in Sydney. This is way back in mid nineties. Look, I notice where the water moves. I notice, you know, how it's around me. And if you know someone's out with their kick, I hear that, and I kind of feel it. It does affect me a little bit. I think we're you can hear like. Firstly, with Hugh Jackman, I didn't even know. Y'all know what I said in that video. Uh, I think it was like the top 10 actors or something you didn't know from. With Hugh Jackman, I did know he was Australian. But since I know now and I'm paying attention to like the actor, just hearing this, it's like you can hear it a little bit in that general. You can hear it and it make you like, you catch some certain word. They say certain words or how they finish a certain word. You can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear We're the We're pretty accent. much just your average normal Australian, to be honest. Hmm. Also lower class riffraff. <laughs> yeah, these guys are a bunch of wankers too. Way too <laughs> posh. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. That was meant to be a bit of tongue in cheek satire whilst also being educational and showing you some examples yeah. of the three most common accents that you will see when you come to Australia. <laughs> there are some other sort of variants that I will try to cover in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we do plumbing work also, yeah? yeah, yeah. And he goes, don't be a hero, oh, mate. We got a good man up here. Also, don't forget okay. to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to stay up to date with all of my videos, guys. I teach Australian English. That is the focus of this channel. My job here is to help you okay. better understand or better sound like an Australian English speaker. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a ripper of a day and I'll see you soon. Have a good one. Okay, no, I don't... Oh, okay, I don't... I thought he was going to be saying something to him right there. No, I might need to... I might have to check out his podcast. I'm going to definitely have to check out his podcast. But you can def definitely hear the difference, of course. But, yeah. Huh. Wow. This this was actually good. This was actually good. I know the difference now. I know the difference. Of, of course, that broad, I feel like that's what... You know how I feel like with the broad, well, no, the cultivated too, because she when she pronounced Melbourne, she pronounced it the right way versus American way, which I was saying if I look at it, I'll say Melbourne instead of Melbourne.
So, um, you know, they're still pronounced the way. I, I need to find one where they're pronouncing out the different the cities and stuff like that in Australia. I need to I need to find one with that one. But this was good. Definitely see the difference here. The difference. But yeah, Australia. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, this was good. This was good. I didn't learn something today. I didn't learn. But yeah, the bra, they definitely use all mostly uh, the slang short words type. You know, they probably use the Maccas. You know, cultivated general, they probably say make McDonald's. Maybe. They probably say McDonald's. But bra, it's Maccas. Nah, this was good. This was good. Glad I came across it. But that's all I have for this video. Y'all let me know. Like I said, I'm I'm learning. I'm trying to learn. I ain't trying to like talk Australian or nothing like that, but I'm trying to identify and know the difference, you know, and pronounce stuff right because I've been pronouncing it wrong, you know. I've been pronouncing some certain words wrong. So, I need to do something. I need to find a video they're pronouncing all the cities, all the places in Australia, all the states, all the, you know, most important things in Australia. But that's all I have. Y'all give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And y'all be blessed. Be the best to be you. I'm out.